We are celebrating this morning is Jacob Andrews. Awesome, Jacob. Go, go stand over there, man, and let them all look at you from there. Uh, they're looking at your baby picture. You're good, man. Look, Jacob Andrews has graduated from Lafayette High School. He's going to be attending the University of Louisiana Lafayette to study kinesiology. Is that right? So well done, Jacob. Let's go. Hunter Boudreaux. Yeah. That's right. There we go. We're not holding applause. There we go. We'll, right there. We'll, do the, we'll do the commencement handshake. I like that. That's good. Hunter graduated from, I love this, Grand Adventures Christian Academy. It's the name of the homeschool he attended. And he will be attending and swimming on the first ever swim team at William Carey University in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And he's got plans to study physical therapy and something in that vein. So well done, Hunter. Woo! I'd like to recognize Grant Porsche. Go ahead and give him a round of applause up here. Every single one of these graduates is taller than I am. So, yeah, you go ahead and stand right there, man. Grant Porsche, man, he graduated from Lafayette Christian Academy, and he's going to be attending and playing baseball for Baton Rouge Community College. And he's got plans to, to, to pursue a degree in business administration. I might have some phone calls for you later. Well done. Colin Strother, why don't you come on up, ma'am? Woo! All right. I need to get in the gym. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Colin graduated from David Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy, and he's actually going to be joining the Army. He's got plans to join the Army in this upcoming fall. Woo! Graduation is a huge milestone in your life. It's not an ending, though. It's beginning. We know that's a transition. And so very briefly, while you're up here and everyone is just looking at you, I hope you feel that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, although, I can't take that back. I just said it. So, uh, <laughs> hey, man, I, I want to, guys, I want to I wanna challenge you guys and encourage you with three things uh, for this morning and, and going forward. First of all, I want you to remember, as you go forward, as you, as you leave these doors in a, in a very big fashion at the end of the service, I want you to remember those who've gone before you, those who've poured into you, your parents, your spiritual leaders, and those that have helped to form you in your faith. In Hebrews, we're challenged to remember our leaders who've spoken God's word to us. He says, as you carefully observe the outcome of their lives, imitate their faith. And so, guys, I challenge you to do that. Don't leave these doors not looking behind, but instead remembering and recalling those that have gone before you who have had a hand in your life. In your spiritual journey, remember the outcomes of their lives and imitate their faith. All right, you just heard everyone cheering for you. You're going to hear it in a bigger way at the end. You've got a team for you. And second, it's another R. That's uh, to make it a little easier. Go ahead and repeat the process. That's what I want. When you when you leave these doors, repeat the process that you experienced. What I mean is, as you remember those who've come before you and discipled you, go out and make disciples. At William Carey, while you're swimming, playing baseball in Baton Rouge, in the Army, and uh, Jacob Lafayette, you're still you're here, dude. Y'all have opportunities to make disciples, and so that is my encouragement to you: is to replicate that process, to repeat that process of discipleship. Remember what your leaders have taught you, and then hand that down. And, and H is not to be considered. In First Timothy four twelve, we know this. Paul tells Timothy, "Don't let anyone look down on you." Because you're young, but instead set an example. And so that's why I challenge and encourage each one of you is to, to set an example to those who are around you and to, to pour into others. And lastly, another R, report back to us. Man, report back to us. Although we're sending you off, we're not sending you away with closed doors behind you. We want to keep that open door of communication. And the reason is because, man, when we hear about what God is doing in you and through you guys, when we get to hear that, we're encouraged. And so your lives going forward is an encouragement to us when we get to be and when we get to hear about it on our end. So come back, share it with us. Uh, I would love to have you guys back here in a year, two years, three years, four years, standing up here giving some testimonies about what God's doing at UL, what God's doing in Baton Rouge, in Hattiesburg, and the Army. Like that would be such an encouragement for us. So let us encourage you and you encourage us by reporting back all that God is doing. And I believe that when we do that, we rejoice together, we celebrate together. And so let's go ahead and celebrate them one more time. Now I would like to just say a 
quick prayer and you guys can be seated. So let, let's, let's pray first. Lord, thank you for these, these graduates. And uh, from, from this moment forward, I'm not going to really call them graduates anymore. I'm going to try to call them missionaries because that's what they are. Lord, they're being sent out uh, all over, Father, to accomplish the purpose that you've given them. And so, Father, would they remember, would they repeat that process of discipleship starting freshman year, not, not waiting until junior, senior year, but right at the beginning, looking for someone that they can, they can pour into and invest in. And, Father, would they report back all that God's doing in and through them. And, Lord, would you be glorified in their lives. We know that you've gone before them and we trust you in that. And uh, we celebrate as we hear all the things that you are, are doing. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.